My name's Steve Wharton. I'm a paint and decorator, and I'm also on call for Cumbria Fire and Rescue Service. On an unseasonably hot February day, Steve was called to an emergency on the River Eden in Cumbria. Just after five o'clock, we got the message, young male, missing in water. Right, listen, is the patient breathing? No, he's underwater, he's drowned. He's... Despite the desperate attempts of bystanders to save him, 13-year-old Casper Krause had been lost underwater for 20 minutes. Right, there's a fire engine here now, it's just pulled out. Fire, the fire engine must have arrived on scene. It was absolute chaos, to be honest. At that point, we were thinking, this is maybe going to be a body retrieval. But I remember on the bank seeing the boy's parents. As you can imagine, they were hysterical. I was crying, I was uh, screaming, I was absolutely devastated. And that made me think, I've got to get him. Steve refused to give up, despite the body being underwater for 25 minutes. Initially, Steve dived in with his flotation device on. But the safety equipment he was wearing meant he couldn't swim down to the body. So I had to make a decision to remove the gear. He was putting his own life in great danger. I knew I only had one chance of diving down and retrieving the body. Without his safety equipment, Steve put his life in the hands of the strong currents and freezing conditions to dive 15 feet to the bottom of the riverbed. We pray, actually. We pray, and I was saying, I can't lose him, I can't lose him. When I finally found the body, it was just lifeless. I saw Casper was completely white and there was no life. My heart was absolutely broken. We managed to pull him out of the river and then he was in the hands of the paramedics. Medically speaking, Casper could have been declared dead at that moment. We knew he was extremely cold and that the cold may have protected his brain from the effects of low oxygen. Sadly, it didn't look like he was going to survive. Doctors battled to restart his heart and he was kept in an induced coma for three weeks. We never, never left him. And I remember that day, Casper just opened the eyes. I was full of emotion. We cry, we, we smile, and doctor says he never woke, but it was absolutely miracle, you know. Casper has astounded doctors with his recovery so far. He can play, he can run, he going to football. You always have that element of hope, and that's what kept us going. You can never give up.